Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over how to create a new user in Salesforce. We're going to start from the setup homepage, which if you remember, you can navigate to by going up to this gear icon and then clicking on setup. From here, we're going to navigate to the quick find box. And we're going to type in user. And then we'll click on users. So this page gives a list of all the users in your org. You can actually change from different views. So right now we're looking at all users, but if you click this drop down, you can click on active users or just admin users. We're going to keep it on all users. So to create a new user, we're going to click on this new user button. From here, we're going to fill out all the required information. So I went ahead and filled everything out. So I filled out the first name, last name, the alias field auto populates. I filled out this email, which isn't a real email. And then the username field takes whatever you put in the email. You might have to modify this if the username was already used in another Salesforce org. So let's just say someone new to your company has worked in a Salesforce org previously. We wouldn't be able to set them up with the same username as their previous company. This might happen if they use their personal email for a username, but that's not typically the case. The nickname is also auto-populated. Title, company, department, and division. None of these fields are required to create a new user, so we're just going to skip those for now. So for the role field, you don't have to specify a role. In later videos, I'm going to go over how roles and profiles determine a user's visibility in Salesforce. For now, just know that roles control a user's visibility to the records that they see in Salesforce. So for this user, we're just going to keep role as none specified. For the user license, we're going to select Salesforce. So the Salesforce license is designed for users who require full access to any of the standard or custom apps in Salesforce. All of the other options that you see here don't give a user as much access as the Salesforce option does. I want to add that if you ever notice that the Salesforce license isn't available when setting up a new user, it's because you've likely reached the maximum amount of Salesforce license that your org has. For a free Salesforce org like this, you only get two Salesforce user license and one automatically is assigned to you as the system admin. So that means you really only have one left, which in this case we're going to use for Elon Bezos. So moving on to the profile. I selected the custom sales profile. Profiles are mandatory and you do need to select a profile before saving a new user. The reason I picked a custom profile is because you'll learn that standard profiles in Salesforce have limitations. So it's best practice to always assign a user a custom profile. So we'll go ahead and keep that custom sales profile. For these checkboxes, I checked the marketing user so that the user is able to leverage campaigns which I'll go over in later videos. I also checked off the flow user checkbox so that this user can create flows, which is an automation tool in Salesforce. Everything else that was checked off here was already checked by default. So we're gonna scroll down to the locale settings. For the locale settings, you're gonna change the time zone to wherever your company or the user's located. So we'll change this to New York since I'm on the East Coast. Additionally, you can change the locale and the language. Lastly, we want to just ensure that this generate new password and notify users immediately is checked. In a real world scenario, if we were creating a new user for someone that was newly hired to the company, this checkbox would ensure that the new user received an email to verify their new account and to create their new password. So we can go ahead and save. So our new user has now been created. Congratulations if this is your first user setup in Salesforce. I can assure you that if you hold an admin role at some point in your career that you're going to do this hundreds if not thousands of times. So that's all I really have for this video. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you everyone and I'll see you in the next video.